Hello everyone, happy Thursday. I love you, I'm sending you a big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane in this now moment. I wanna talk about um, diffusing arguments. So a lot of us may find ourselves in more arguments than normal, especially in this past year, right? One of the reasons this is happening is because you are awakening out of a slumber. You're awakening out of an amnesia state. You're awakening out of the third dimensional matrix, which means you're recognizing what you have been in. You're recognizing the programs you've been in, the manipulation you've been in, the mind control you've been in. And when you step out of it, you look around and you're like, oh my God, look at all the humans that are still in that. And what we initially do is we make them wrong we forget that we were just there. There was a now moment, a previous now moment, at some point in your life where you were in amnesia of some sort, in some system. We've all been in amnesia. We've all forgotten that we're in a matrix. So we have to have compassion for the humans that are still not aware of what they're in. This is how you shift an entire human collective. You have empathy for those that are still in that slumber state or not aware yet. It's okay. So you're in this huge field. You're starting to wake up, right? And then you're wanting to kind of speak your truth and you're recognizing that as you do, these humans are coming at you or you're coming at them, vice versa, whatever it is. And here's what happens in arguments. You are recycling or circulating that which you're trying to shift the human out of or that which you have shifted out of, which is the matrix. When you argue, you're attached to something. You're in a restricted state. You're in a tightened state. When you stop arguing and let both humans be, you and them or however many are with you in this argument, you're in an expanded state. You're in a sovereign state. You're allowing for free will, but you're speaking your truth, you're being your truth, and you're doing your truth. But you're doing it from a sovereign state, which is I understand they are where they are at. The best way to shift an entire human collective is for me to be, do, and speak my truth, period, without an attachment to changing all of the perhaps billions of humans that are still unaware of what they're in. And so we're new to this. We're in it. We, we have been programmed to debate. We've been programmed to argue. We've been programmed to fight our, our, our beliefs and our truths with people. And all that does is recirculate. It stays in the matrix that you are supposedly out of. When you argue, you're in a matrix. When you step out of the matrix and you're in a higher state of consciousness, there's no need to argue. You, you, you understand that it's a waste of energy. Think of an argument as perpetuating that which, which you have just stepped out of. And as soon as you argue, you're now going back into the matrix and you're perpetuating it. So it's literally like spinning your wheels, right? Running in place, going nowhere. So when you find yourself starting to argue, recognize, oh wait, this is just perpetuating that which I'm stepping out of and aware of. So let me try something different. Let me try sovereignty, which is I'm honoring the other individual. I'm honoring their truth. I'm honoring their energy. I'm honoring wherever they are and I'm honoring me and I'm letting them be. And I remember that the best way to shift an entire human collective is to educate, speak, be and do from a field of sovereignty, which is I am just going to do me. I'm going to, I'm going to educate and whoever needs to hear will hear. I'm going to speak and whoever needs to hear it will hear it as opposed to going to every individual asleep on that, on that field that you're in and trying to force them to wake up. Very challenging, but it has a more powerful impact. So here are five steps that you can practice. Okay. When you find yourself in an argument, step one, be the observer. Observe that you're in an argument. Observe that you're in the matrix, right? Observe that you're in a field, you're in an awakened state, and maybe those that are arguing you, with you aren't quite in the same state of consciousness that you're in. Just be the observer. Then you can actually choose how you're gonna be. Step two, recognize that each human has an energetic field. About 18 inches out, around the entire body and it pulsates out a signature, a frequency. That frequency dictates the way that human is gonna see their reality. You can't change someone's signature. You can't change it, okay? So you don't wanna to try to change someone's signature. You honor that signature. Wow, here's me and someone else. 
and we are not vibing, we're not resonating, we're not seeing eye to eye, their signature is different than mine. Instead of arguing their signature, I'm gonna honor it and let it be. Step three, respect. Empathy, respect. We're all living a human journey. We are all using the lens that is based on the frequency that our body is holding. My job is not to change someone's frequency. My job is to just respect it and be sovereign and do me. Step four, the difference between speaking my truth, being my truth, doing my truth, educating versus trying to change someone, attaching to change, attaching to, a, to change. I'm trying to change them. So step four is really powerful. Am I just being, speaking, educating, or am I attached to changing them? Am I, am I trying to control the outcome? Just pay attention to that. Control, attachment to change, that's tight, that's restricted. That's being in that matrix, right? Just speaking you is an expanded state. It's a sovereign state. As Soon as you find yourself as the observer, oh my God, I'm trying to change them, I'm trying to convince them, you're gonna feel restricted in your body. Pay attention, you'll feel restricted. Your heart might start to beat. You might get sweaty, You're, you might get angry, right? These are restrictive, tight, dense states of consciousness and they really don't help the situation. Relax, be you, recognize that they are who they are and it will dissolve. And step five is what I've just been saying this entire uh, video. Be, do, speak, educate, whatever you need to do, but be, do, speak, educate in your sovereign field, meaning you are just being it. There's not an outcome you're trying to make, meaning you're not trying to change someone. You're just being the being of light, the warrior of light. The outcome that you want is that the entire human collective shifts out of this matrix, moves into higher states of consciousness. Of course, right? We want to assist humanity. But when you're in the sovereign field that you hold yourself in right here, when you release attachment expectation and you hold the knowingness that just by being sovereign, just by speaking your truth, being your truth, doing your truth, knowing your truth, you are shifting the entire human collective, you'll settle into it more. Because the human collective that is still asleep, so to speak, right? Unaware of what they are in, they're gonna see you. They're gonna watch you. They're gonna hear you. Much easier and much quicker if you don't try to argue or change them. So when you find yourself walking into your living room or your kitchen or your office or your school or wherever you are, and you find yourself all of a sudden in an argument with someone, remember these five steps. This is how we change the entire human collective. This is how we wake humanity up. We observe. We remember that everyone has an energetic signature. There's no right or wrong. I'm not better than. I'm not right and they're wrong, right? They're not right and I'm wrong. We're just living our signatures, our frequencies. Three, respect. Have respect. Step four, are you speaking your truth or are you trying to change someone? And step five, be, do, what's the other one? Be, your, be do, speak educate from this sovereignty right here knowing knowing that by doing that you are literally changing and pulling the entire human collective into higher states of consciousness we are learning how to step out of the matrix we are learning how to not be in the states of consciousness that we used to be in and arguments is one of them it's a programmed state. We argue, we debate, it's good for you. Feel what it feels like and then tell me if it's good for you. What does a debate feel like? What does an argument feel like, right? In your body, as opposed to being sovereign, speaking as loud as you need, yelling from the rooftops your truths, being your truth educating in all the beautiful ways that we have the ability to educate, but without an attachment 
to making sure that everyone changes, that everyone hears you, that everyone knows that you're right because they're just as right as you are. They're just as right as you are. I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stepping into your sovereignty. Thank you for speaking your truth. Thank you for courageously baby stepping your way through how do I speak my truth and not get in arguments. We're doing it. You're doing it. I love you.